Hello everyone, welcome to 137 of advanced e com series in Laravel 8. So we are going to continue working on the orders module. In last video, video we have seen uh, that we have able to create the order details and delivery address and order products in our admin panel for showing the order detail uh, for showing the complete order details. And now in this video, we are going to show uh the user details here here we will show the customer details and after that we will show the billing address and we will also show the update order status okay so let's work on these things in this video and first of all we are going to show the user details uh sorry uh, that customer details and billing address and for that we need to fetch the user details so i'm going to open the orders controller once again uh, orders controller in admin panel and here i will fetch the user details as well at front end we are not uh, uh, fetching the user details because that we are not required because user uh, he, uh, user assessing his own order but here uh, the client can assess the any or, or any of the order client can assess and and so that we require here user details okay so i will do here user details like this and from the user model we will use the where once again where id we are going to fetch from the order details uh, user id we are going to fetch from the order details like this user id and we are going to convert its data to array as well like this so we are going to use the user details here we are going to return the user details okay so now we can open the order details once again order details at the admin end not at the front end and here we need to show the user details and we are going to copy this uh, complete div we can copy and we can convert that to euro details but first of all uh, we will show the customer details and for customer details uh, we will show only the two things we will show the customer name uh, as well as the customer email so we can do one thing here uh, first of all we will see uh, we are adding at the right place yeah customer details here we can check once that is fine uh, okay so we uh, are required to add the user as well here so that's why this error is coming user model we need to include so now uh, we need to remove this one and go customer details here and these are not required we can remove this complete div Here uh, we can show the customer details in the same way like we are showing there. We can copy this one as well and we can show here and then uh, we can replace uh, with the code that we require. And here we are not required so much details. Here we only require the name as well as email. Two things only required email and that uh, we can fetch from the user details not from this one your details user email will, will also show and show it like this uh undefined index email uh we sorry here e is small okay so we able to get the name as well as email we are showing here now we will show the billing address of the user as well so we will show that complete we can copy this complete div card we can copy this one 
and we can copy and we can paste we can replace this complete uh, div and we can check after that is coming fine or not yes it is coming fine now we can show here the billing address and in billing address all the information will come up and here we will uh, replace the order details array with the user details array like this and now we can refresh and we can check the billing address is coming up but uh, there is uh, not much details not much billing details okay only name and mobile is there uh, but that does not matter because here uh, the delivery address is mandatory billing address is not that much mandatory okay because we are registering the user uh, only with the mobile and username i think uh, we are registering the user to the website uh, by with username only username password and name and mobile okay name mobile and email and password so other information is an optional but we will keep it here so after that we are going to add one more module here uh, for updating the order status and uh, also we are going to uh, do one more thing uh, in future videos uh, we are going to uh, maintain the uh, comments uh, sorry uh, the log section order history section like uh, uh, we have updated the order status to uh, hold and after that uh, after one day we will update the status to shipped okay so we want to track that on which date we have done which status so for that we will um, uh, make the history or logs kind of table uh, yeah that more things we are going to do in future videos uh, so right now we will show the order status uh, module order status section here uh, so i will add uh, one more section here so i can uh, copy this one only and we'll make that uh, so here i can do one thing i can simply copy this one and we can paste it here and after that we can make changes I can check once yes that is fine and here we can make it like update order status and inside this uh, we can add the status uh, here we can replace all this is not required at all uh, we can do like this tbt or cool spend 2 if we require we can do like this and sorry rest data is not required we can remove and here uh, we can add the form like select option we can give the option like uh, new uh, something like pending and we can also give one option first of all we will give the option of select status and now we can check once how it looks like here it looks like this one update order status select status and after everything we can here we can add the button here update okay so here we can make it type as submit here it will look like this and we can add the mvsp as well okay and we can give 
the class of form on form you can give it like this if it will oh no it is not looking fine so we can remove this class no issue uh, we can keep it like this only but more status we can add but uh, we will make this one dynamic uh, status uh, we can uh, create the table and we can fetch the status from that uh, so that will make our task easier in future uh, so we can add the dynamic status here uh, that we can call dynamically uh, from the table here we can give the order status as well okay so uh, this is required in case if the client going to update and we can add the form as well before that okay so that uh, we will work on this thing and much more in next video uh, we will send the order email as well and the status part also we are going to create the table for it and we will fetch the order status from that and when the client will update the status then we will send the uh, email to the user as well email and sms to the user like your status has been updated this is the manual process okay so this one we are going to do and we are going to also send the order email and sms so when the user or place the order okay so this one also we are going to do in next video so many things still uh, are pending and but we are going to finish very soon so stay tuned for that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye